So I was in the middle of giving you a message called the fear of the unknown. The fear of the unknown. But the Holy Spirit led me in a different direction. I opened up my Bible and I'm in Galatians uh, chapter 5, verse 22. And I'm going to read. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience kindness and goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control did you catch that so listen what we're seeing today especially when it deals with relationships this is something that i know god want me to speak on honestly i didn't even prepare for this so i'm just gonna go ahead and record but you know I, i'm seeing a lot of people get in relationships and for some, you know, reason, it's like it's becoming a trend to unalive each other. The violence against one another in relationships and how people glorify other people's relationships without even knowing exactly what type of demons these couples are battling. Come on now. I'm going to just talk it how it's coming to me, y'all. I wasn't prepared for this. I saw a post, you know, uh, just maybe a week ago and there was a couple that you know was violent towards one another and both of them you know are no longer here i saw another person share a post and say i want this kind of love not because they unalive each other but because the picture looks so pretty it was a beautiful picture but that's all it was a picture on social media we see these beautiful pictures of couples and most people are longing to have this companionship in their life so when they see other couples together in their mind they're like this is what i want couples go you know in the holiday times come around couples get together and they put on matching outfits so of course you know i see other people sharing these same pictures saying next year it's gonna be my turn oh i can't wait for me and mine but are you actually thinking about the foundation that you want your relationship to be, you know, placed upon? Or is it you just want that image? Come on now. Because a lot of people fall in love with pictures. But do you not understand that, to be totally honest, most of us have never experienced love for real. What you experience is codependency. What you experience is people who have empty voids. What you experience is not love. For you to know what love is, you truly have to become one with God. Come on, Holy Spirit. That is the only way you're going to know what love is. Because oftentimes, what you're receiving is nothing more than lust. Come on. I'm going to call it how I'm hearing it. What you experience is lust. You're falling in love with the idea of being in love and romanticizing everybody's life, even the one in your head. It says the Holy Spirit produces these kinds of fruits in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This is why the Word of God says, you will know someone by their fruit because when you become one with Christ, you have the Holy Spirit. You will produce this type of fruit. And if you look into the world, how often do you see someone that produced this fruit? By you becoming whole and by you receiving Christ, you will know when you're running into someone who's not whole. Because you're a whole, happy, and healthy, you can recognize when somebody's not. You can recognize demons because now you carry the light. This is a real thing. This is why I don't have many friends. This is why I got away from the dating scene. The things that we glorify, these things does not produce the type of fruit that the Holy Spirit will bring. You see what I'm saying? 
God led me to speak on this. I don't know who needs to hear it. But you need to become whole within yourself. Because here's the thing. Let me say this. We're listening to all these stories on social media about people having these, these terrible run-ins in, run and relationships. But here's the thing. How many of you are taking it serious? Because I'm starting to think that most people listen to somebody else's story, their trauma, for entertainment. Are you actually learning from it? All the red flags. But yet, you don't stop and question nothing. And you keep inviting more people into your life, all because you are chasing this fantasy, this love life. Most people don't even produce the, the type of fruit that the Holy Spirit brings because they are not even one with God. This is a dangerous society that is uh, trying to fill the voids in their life and it's not going to work. I know people personally who have lost their life because they were in a toxic relationship. At some point, you got to become whole so that you can find out who's not. You got to submit to Christ first but before you try to submit to anybody in this world. That American dream thing, it's done messed up a lot of people. I don't care for American dream. I want to live in God's purpose in my life. Because when I'm in alignment with God, I know that I will be in love, in peace, in joy, in happiness, having self-control. You see what I'm saying? That's where you want to be. That American dream has got people chasing just that, a dream. That American dream has so many people trying to keep up with the next person to the point where most of society is just living a lie. You're living a lie. And that's the truth. Instead of doing the real work with the Holy Spirit to produce that type of fruit, you just pretend to have it. This is why you have so many people that come into your life pretending to have that love, that kindness, that joy, that peace. You see what I'm saying? They just pretend. See, nowadays it's easier for people to pretend because the truth is most people are not doing the work. They just post about it. You see what I'm saying? They post about healing. It seems like everything has to become a trend before people even think about actually doing it. The truth is you should have been evolving the whole time in life from a baby up into an adult. You should have been evolving. But like I say, so many people get stuck in their trauma that they carry it on over to somebody else into a relationship so now you see a bunch of couples just unaliving each other i'm going to close my message and tell you about a prophecy that god gave me when it came to you know kingdom relationships the love that most people are longing for this was the most you know intense prophecy that I received from God and it's a little dangerous I spoke on this one time but it was God revealed to me that most people would never have that type of companionship the love that you are genuinely longing for most people won't receive it and it's not because of God it's because of people people don't change people don't surrender to God their fleshly ways they don't so that means if if most of the population of people does not surrender to god and does not come into a place of change then more than likely you're going to run into another demon so instead of having that love that you always want you're just going to end up in lust unfortunately catch them down